Hi there, James Preston with you and thanks for tuning in to CalKine. In this segment, we're going to take a look at what reinsurance is. But first, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos. So what is reinsurance? Insurance is a cover taken by individuals or businesses to protect them against risk. Reinsurance is an arrangement wherein the insurer seeks insurance from another insurance company who agree to secure the risk for the insurance claims that may be made. Reinsurance is also called insurance of insurance. In the case of reinsurance, the original insurer now becomes the insured. The insurer who gets the risk reinsured is called anything from the original insurer, the reassured, the reinsured, the seeding company or the primary insurer. The seeding company's money is freed up and reinsurance helps to boost the solvency margin. It also allows the seeding firm to expand its underwriting capabilities while lowering its underwriting costs. So in short, reinsurance is the insurance of insurance. Reinsurance is an arrangement wherein one or more insurance companies agree to secure the risk for the insurance policy coverage offered by another insurance company and the main types of reinsurance policies are facultative coverage reinsurance, treaty reinsurance, proportional reinsurance and non-proportional reinsurance. In understanding reinsurance, it's also important to become familiar with some key terms. Let's start with seeding company. The seeding company is the primary insurer that seeks reinsurance. Seeding company may also be referred to as seedant. Session. Session is the amount reinsured or the amount of risk seeded for insurance. There's also retrocession. Retrocession is the reinsurance done by the reinsurer of the seeding company. Then there's retention. Retention refers to the amount of risk that remains with the seeding company. The balance is the reinsured amount. Primary insured. The entity initially seeking insurance cover against risk is called the primary insured. Reciprocity. The concept of reciprocity can be understood with a hypothetical example. Suppose Mr. A gets his mansion insured against fire for US $1 million with company X. Company X cedes the risk $600,000 with company Y. Reciprocity has to do with taking care of mutual benefits, i.e. when company X cedes to company Y, it expects company Y to cede to it in the future. So what are some things to consider while entering a reinsurance arrangement? Reinsurance arrangements should consider certain aspects. First, the relative financial strength of the reinsurer must be tested by checking the record for claims payments in various business conditions. The reinsurer must have a sound strategy for managing risk and capital. This indicates the company's strategy for reinsurance with the essential insurance portfolios. Third, the structuring of the reinsurance plan must be thoroughly assessed. Fourth, there should be clarity on the total exposure to one or more insurers. And finally, the proportion of net risk retained should be commensurate with the financial resources to meet them. Facultative coverage reinsurance. After receiving an insurance proposal, the insurer determines how much he can keep on that particular risk. If there is still a retention balance, he goes to the facultative market with the request to entice reinsurers to take on the risk. This request is typically made stating all of the risk details. Then, if a reinsurer is interested in taking on the risk, he accepts it, explicitly expressing the percentage or amount of risk he is willing to take on. In this manner, the insurer moves from reinsurer to reinsurer until the risk is fully absorbed. Facultative reinsurance is a type of reinsurance in which the seeding business offers each risk it wants to reinsure to the reinsurer in separate single transactions. Each risk that the seeding business wants to reinsure requires the submission, acceptance and a subsequent agreement. That is, for each policy it will reinsure, the seeding company will negotiate a separate reinsurance deal. The reinsurer, on the other hand, is not obligated to accept all or any submissions. Treaty reinsurance. Treaty reinsurance is a type of reinsurance in which the seeding company and the reinsurer agree to cede particular business classes to each other. The reinsurer on his part undertakes to accept all business that qualifies under the treaty. A reinsurance treaty assures the seeding company that any of its risks that fall within the treaty's terms will be reinsured according to the treaty's conditions. The seeding entity transfers all risk within a book of business to the reinsurer in treaty reinsurance contracts. 
The two parties will sign a contract in which the reinsurer agrees to accept all covered businesses. In most cases, the reinsurer expects to generate a profit, although these expectations are monitored and changed over time. Reinsurers, unlike facultative arrangements, do not conduct individual underwriting on risk accepted through treaty agreements. Instead, that obligation is left to the seeding firm, which is why reinsurers will conduct extensive due diligence before entering a treaty to verify the seeding company is using proper underwriting procedures. Proportional reinsurance. Proportional reinsurance is another name for pro rata reinsurance. According to the underlying contract, the primary insurer and reinsurer share liabilities in a precisely specified proportion. The reinsurer normally pays a seeding commission to the seeding business to repay for expenditures connected with issuing the underlying policy. Premiums and claims are also divided according to the degree of risk that each party bears, i.e. proportionally. As a result, when claims are filed, the reinsurer will be responsible for a percentage of the losses. The reinsurer will split a percentage of the premiums and losses according to an agreed upon prior percentage. The reinsurance firm will also reimburse the insurance company for all associated costs proportionally. Such charges, sometimes known as seeding commission, may be paid to the insurance company in advance. Non-proportional reinsurance. In the case of non-proportional reinsurance, the reinsurer pays losses over the seeding company's retention limit, up to a certain amount. The reinsurance premium is computed separately from the insured's premium. The non-proportional contract reduces the reinsurer's risk by requiring the seeding insurer's loss to surpass a certain threshold before the reinsurer becomes liable. Non-proportional reinsurance is less expensive for reinsurers, but it might result in significant losses and uncertainty. Excess of loss is a type of non-proportional reinsurance. The reinsurer will cover only damages that exceed the insurance company's retention limit. Hopefully that gives you some further insight into the concept of reinsurance. And if you've enjoyed this video, then give it a like, comment, share, and of course subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay apprised of all the latest videos from Calkine. If you'd like any further information across reinsurance or finance more broadly, head across to calkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Calkine.